I'm expecting my parts order in today and I'm going to be replacing the steering shock absorber. That's what it looks like. And that's where I'm getting it from. They're calling it a steering damper. And that's Stabilis's number. But the Mercedes number is down here. It's 0004635132. And that would fit uh, Gen 2. So from 1986 to 1991. I'm going to be replacing the steering damper. That's this shock right here. Mine actually looks original. It's 17 millimeter. There's this one nut on this side. You gotta hold the top with a 17 and then take off the bottom. Okay, I got a wrench on top, a half inch ratchet. I don't think I'll need a breaker bar on that. Okay, got that off. Should just come right out. There we go. I think this is the original piece that came with the car 32 years ago. It says made in West Germany, uh, Stabilus. And Stabilus was the company that's an OE 0004635132. And that's the same number that's in uh, the electronics parts catalog. There's a part up there. I'm going to test to see if there's anything left to the shock. Okay, I got it in the vise. Oh, oh geez. There is this absolutely nothing. I mean, it's just completely leaked out. Okay, Stabilis, there's the new one. Looks identical to the old one. And I'm going to put it in the vise and do the same pull test. That's really hard. I mean, I'm really pushing just to get that to go. So, yeah, it's safe to say that's 32 years old and that's junk. To reuse the hardware, I'm going to clean it up on the wire wheel so I can see a little bit of evidence of uh, blue Loctite. I got a uh, blue thread locker on there and these cleaned up really good on the wire wheel. I've got the torque wrench set to 40 newton meters. I live in a rural area and there's a fair amount of gravel roads full of potholes and washouts and before I replaced the steering damper when I'd hit those, the wheel would just jerk back and forth like that. And now it's just extremely stable. It doesn't move at all. So that was a worthwhile repair.